But it's come to my attention that the E tool can now be unlocked in Warzone. So that's what we're going to try to do now. Let's try to get three kills without dying in a match. We're going to back out. And hopefully it'll count. So let's do that. Doing Kingslayer um, right now since that's just the hot mode. Otherwise, normally I'd use Plunder. So let's make something happen. Enemy launched an advanced UAV. We're exposed. Enemy UAV overhead. Recon coming up. UAV entering the AO. UAV entering the AO. Enemy UAV overhead. What? Enemy UAV overhead. Designating target for airstrike. Hostile dropping into the air. Get. Be advised, UAV is being overshot. RTV for reason. Alright, now we're going to take a peek, E tool, 1 out of 15, that's how I'm going to do it, I'm just going to keep running the back of these storms, and keep farming that until I get it. Alright, so now we are on to Cold War, and this is the loadout I'm going to use for Cold War, I'm also trying to level the LC-10, so I'm just using that as my main gun anyway. Um, we're going to run Tactical Mast Flak Jackets, we're going to use a lot of Molotov and stuns, the field mic is going to let us know what's around us, Ninja is going to make us quiet, and Ghost can keep us off the radar. Um, we should be pretty well set with this setup, so let's jump into a game. Um, Nuketown is on a rotation, so we're going to use that, so it's a map that we can keep remembering repetitively. The objectives. It works out perfectly, so we can hopefully... One... Three, that's three! And there we go, so that one counted. So it's important to note that with Cold War, you do have to finish the round, make sure it counts. In uh, Modern Warfare or Warzone, it's not necessarily a big deal. But what I wanted to show you was how to use stuns and Molotovs in a way to control people. So like, say you're wanting to control this doorway, right? You want them to come out this way, and you want to slow them down. So if Molotov, you throw that there at the foot of the door, they're going to have to either run through the fire or make their way around. They have an option. And at that point, you could see whether they're going left or right to make the move that they're going to make. So that applies with, like, all of these as well. So, like, back here, for in, like, if you wanted them to force that way, toss that there, make the circle around. And jump through or being as you have EOD and whatnot you see you take less damage from your own Molotov so you can use that like I was saying about that field mic you can set that down and see now on your mini map you have a ring up there that tells you where people are and that's interesting how I'm gonna run that <clears throat> I'm just gonna keep doing that on a repeat over and over again until I get all of my challenges done and then we'll have the, uh, the e-tool. Hope this video helped you guys out. If it did, give it a like. If you like me, give me a subscribe. Have a good one, guys, and I'll see you around.